Hello guys, today we are showing you how to transfer data from your phone to computer using Dr. Phone Tool Transfer for Mac. First thing, we need to download the tool. I already have Dr. Phone installed in my Mac. You can download Dr. Phone for free by accessing the link below in the description. The download is finished, we'll go ahead and access it. This is the interface. What I like is that we have here a list with supported devices, both Android and iOS. Now I will connect the device. Ignore that pop-up software update message. Ugh. Here they ask us to trust my device if there is a pop-up on phone screen. Now we're on. Back to Mac screen. We have a main bar with all the data we can access and some quick access tabs where we can transfer everything with just a click away. It's easier than ever. Before we start to use it, we have to register this transfer tool within Dr. Phone so we can have full access to all its features. We can do that by accessing the shopping cart, which is on the upper right corner. This will direct us straight to their official website. Or if you already purchased this app, you can go ahead and enter your email and registration code. I already have one, so I will go to enter. Now we can safely start to transfer data between device and Mac. We also have a feedback icon where you can send all the bugs or troubleshooting. They have a strong report center so they are really good on answering. We'll go to the quick access tabs. I start with transfer device media to iTunes. First the software will analyze files from iTunes library and device, then we transfer only the missing part back to iTunes. You will not get any duplicates. After it's finished, you can see all the files that can be transferred to iTunes library. In my case, four files, one song and three playlists. We'll go ahead and press copy to iTunes and the transfer is complete. Easy like that. We'll go now to second quick transfer tab, iTunes media to device. After we press it, iTunes library automatically starts to load. We can choose to transfer between entire library or selected playlist. I don't have that much space on my phone, so I will go with selected playlist. I'll select the one with lower MB. Hit transfer and again the transfer is made really easy. Our last quick access tab is transfer device photos to Mac. After we press it, we get a pop-up. Here we have to choose the location where we want to transfer our photos. Then press save and the transfer starts. I have 32 items. You can see on the right on my desktop how they are starting to appear. I'll choose open finder and I can access them straight from here. I think the transfer is made really easy with this app. If you want to have more control of your data that you want to transfer, you can access the type of file individually by going into the main tab bar. We'll go to music, from here we can manage our music files. Those are the ones I transferred earlier on my phone. From here we can select them one by one, add more on our device or export them again one by one. We can delete, refresh the list or deduplicate. I really like this uh, option, save space. We can view them by the cover and search for a specific song or artist. Video tab works exactly like music, I just don't have any videos. We are on photos now, we can see them by screenshot, Instagram, Boomerang, Whatsapp, exactly as I have them on my phone. I can even access recently deleted photos. What I like about this transfer tool within Dr. Phone is that you can transfer photos from your device to Mac and back. We'll press add photos, select the photo we want to transfer in our device, I'll choose another one, press open. Now, in order to transfer photos to camera roll, we need to install Dr. Phone app in our device first. We'll go to the process, hit install. I'll switch uh, to my phone screen to follow the steps. I'm on my phone screen now. We have to tap settings, go to general, then device management, tap it, then to Beijing National Sky the only one here and we need to trust this uh, developer otherwise it will not work of course 
After this, we have to go to Dr. Phone app and allow access and save photos to camera roll. Tap OK. And the process is done. Back to Mac, where I start to add photos to device from my computer. After it's transferred, I'll check them on my phone. Go to photos and surprise, they're both here. It's not a surprise, it's how it's supposed to work and it's really easy and it works well. From here we can delete them. If you choose to delete, be aware that you cannot undo this action. You can also manage your apps, uninstall, install and export. Another option is to manage your files. The data transfer with Dr. Phone tool transfer is easier than it's ever been before. You can do a quick transfer or manage your files in great detail. If you want to learn more about this software, access the link below in the description. Also check our other videos to learn more about Dr. Phone, the software that has all the tools you need to run your mobile at 100%. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheers!